Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be talking all about lipsticks and lip liners and combos that I've been loving. Huge, huge shout out to my beautiful, amazing subscriber Fiona for recommending this video idea to me. I thought it was such an amazing idea to just talk about like everyday lip combos that I've been loving and that I recommend. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, today is all about lips. So make sure to stick around and see what I love for just everyday use. Before we do get into it, please, please give this a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. Really, really means the world. So thank you so much if you do. But if you want to see what everyday lip combos I've been loving, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, we are just gonna get right into it. There's not like a ton of products in here cause I pretty much always use like a few of the same lip combos and lip products every day that I wear something on my lips. So I'm just giving you the things that I genuinely wear and love all the time. So yeah, we can start off. There's like lip liners. I have some lipsticks, some liquid lipsticks and I have a lip balm and like a gloss that I really, really love using. So I'll just mention all of these. Not going in any particular order, I'm just gonna let you know what they are, let you know what I love and why I love them. I don't remember pricing of all of these off the top of my head, but I will link all of them in the description box. So just in case you are curious what they are, how much they cost, I'll leave like links to everything down below. But yes, first up we have, I'm gonna swatch all of these by the way, cause I want you to see like what they look like. But first we have the NARS oil infused lip tint in orgasm. This is a little bit on the pinkier side, but it is beautiful when you put it on your lips. It's not too pinky. It's like a really, really natural looking kind of pink. And it just feels so good on your lips. Like it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a sticky gross lip gloss. It's very like moisturizing and hydrating and it gives your lips like the perfect hint of color. So I'm obsessed with this. This is like my second or third tube that I've gone through already. I'm obsessed. So then next up, this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now, but I don't like, I think I accidentally peeled the name off of it. So I don't know what color it is. Or not what color, I don't know what brand, but I'll find it for you guys. All I know is that the color is Reach High, number 100. I don't know if this is like L'Oreal or Maybelline. One of those brands, but it is stunning. Like, look at this on my lips. Honestly, I've been doing just this all over my lips nonstop lately because it never fails me. Like, it looks so good every time. It goes with any makeup look, so... I'm obsessed. I'm so sad that I ripped the thing off of that, but I'll find it for you guys and we'll get some answers. So don't you worry. But here's what this looks like. Like it seems like it's very, very dark when I put it on the back of my hand, but it's not translating that way on my lips. Like it looks really, really natural. And this is definitely something that I would do every day. And then next up we have from Nude Sticks. This is like a lip liner and cheek pencil so you could do this on your cheeks and lips i really only do it on my cheek uh my cheeks my lips though i don't really put it on my cheeks so this is in the shade mystic it's kind of similar to that one but just like a little bit lighter it is gorgeous you guys like picture this but just like a tiny bit lighter it's beautiful and it's so like moisturizing and it feels so good on your lips like it's not matte it's not too too wet like it doesn't really like slip around like crazy it just feels really really good and honestly it would probably look good if i did use it on my cheeks too i just don't want to run out of it for my lips because i love it so much for that next up we have my favorite favorite lip liner i have like two tiny ones left because i'm trying to get rid of these before i buy a new one but this is charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner you guys already know my obsession with this like hands down the best of the best like it's like the perfect pinky nude let me swatch a little bit on the back of my hand for you guys i'm like left-handed so this is very hard for me please ignore my terrible swatches but here's what that looks like like clearly it's a little bit lighter than that and it's a little bit more on the pinky side 
it's stunning. Everyone that I have recommended this to or used it on, it works for them. It looks so amazing. And then of course, where there is the lip liner, there's the lipstick. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. These two are like the best combo together, of course. The lip liner and the lipstick. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Like this speaks for itself. Like the creamiest, best feeling lipsticks around. Like they don't move, but they feel so hydrating on your lips. Like it doesn't feel drying when you're wearing it. With both of those, lip liner and lipstick, like that combo will never fail you. It is just everything and then next up we have a lip balm so this is the dior lip glow color reviver balm i wear this every day of my life this is also like the second or third tube of this that i've gone through i think this this is clear i have the shade universal so it's like a clear you can just see it shining right there this is my every day when i don't want to wear something on my lips but i need something to hydrate them this is what I have on 10 times out of 10 pretty much because it's so, so good. It's like a lip balm, but so much more. Like it just makes your lips look so like plumpy and juicy and like beautiful. Everything about this is amazing. And I was going to put the lip oil version of this in the video, but I can't find it. I think I left it in my car or something because I wear it all the time, but the dior lip oil i have that one in the shade pink i'll link that down below too you guys it is insane you can put that you could wear it alone and it looks insane you can put it on top of like any kind of lip you want to do and it just gives it like that extra something that it needed it is just so so freaking good like every day you need that so then next up i have from what is this dose of colors i have the matte liquid lip in truffle this is insane let me show you guys what this looks like this is also like a little pinky nude i would say not as pink as the pillow talk but it's really really similar so you can honestly pair this with the pillow talk lip liner and it looks so amazing every time like this is stunning and it is a matte but it does not feel like super matte or dry like how some liquid lipsticks do this just like on your lips all day every day it feels so good it doesn't move so you don't have to worry about it looking like crap after a few minutes like it looks amazing throughout the day so i'm obsessed with that and i feel so bad that i'm mentioning this in the video because I'm pretty sure it's sold out. I'll check the website and if it is sold out, I'll try to like link one that's very, very similar for you guys. But this, I don't think they sell it anymore because it was limited edition, but I managed to buy like two or three more pencils so that I wouldn't run out because I'm obsessed with this. It's the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible lip uh, pencil in AI. This is like one of the best here it is one of the best lip liners I've ever used in my life honestly now looking at it it matches that nude sticks mystic very very similarly so maybe you could use that instead like look at this and look at this like they seem like they're almost the same color so actually you could use nude sticks instead of this if you're looking for something that's very similar but anyways the combo that I'm obsessed with is these two together like this is a slight bit darker than this so then adding this in the middle makes your lips like pop out so much while still looking super like natural so this combo together is everything to me i can't get enough of it i literally wear this almost every time i go out somewhere like i've just been loving a nude lip and i always find myself doing this combo so i am very much obsessed and then next up we have two lip liners from Pat McGrath. I have these in Buff and Done Undone. They're the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencils. So I will do a little swatch of these for you. I'll do Buff first. So this is definitely on the pinkier side. And then I'm gonna do Done Undone right underneath that. Ooh, oh my God, these swatches are terrible. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so here they are. 
So obviously buff is more on the pinky side. Done Undone is a little bit more of a nude. And I feel like it works really, really well. You could do this with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick or you could even do like just one of these two and the NARS lip oil or the Dior lip oil and that would be like the perfect combo. Like you don't need anything more than that. Your lips will look insane. So both of these like so, so creamy. Again, they just feel so good on the lips. Like I hate when lip products feel super drying and they look dry and your lips look cracked. So I try to avoid those kind of products and all of these are like the opposite of that. Like these just look insane. Amazing, they stay put, they look great. They're not totally matte, but they're not like crazy shiny or anything like that. It's like the perfect in between. So I'm obsessed. And then next up we have another liquid lip. This is the NYX Lingerie Extra Extra Large. And this is in the shade Undressed. So I've been really, really, really obsessed with this lately. Again, a tiny bit more on like the pinkier nude side, but absolutely stunning. Look at this. This honestly with any lip liner looks insane. Like I probably nine times out of 10 will use this and then that over it. But any of these, like the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury I've used with this. I've used the Pat McGrath ones with this. It actually would look really, really good paired with Done Undone right next to it. Like amazing, a recommendation. It's very, very affordable. I love NYX lip products, so you cannot go wrong with this one. And then last but not least is the YSL. What is this? Rouge Volupt Shine lipstick. And this is in shade, I don't know what shade this is. I'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know. I'll link it down below, but for some reason, I don't know what shade this is. This looks amazing with any lip liner, any thing that you put on top of it. Here's what this looks like. It just elevates any, any lip look. Honestly, the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner is probably really, really perfect or buff. The um, Pat McGrath lip liner and then this on top of it perfect perfect combination but you could do this with anything it makes your skin skin lips it makes your lips feel so hydrated like i swear to god this is like a lip balm it doesn't feel like a lipstick at all it feels like you're wearing like a really good lip balm or chapstick whatever you want to call it and it has the most beautiful shine without being a gloss like Every time I wear this on my lips, I get so many compliments and I just feel so good, honestly. Like I, my lips feel so hydrated and just healthy when I wear this and they look even better. Like so juicy, so plump, everything. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It has like the smell of roses almost and it's really, really strong. So it kind of bothers my nose, but for how beautiful this looks, I just suffer through it because it's, insane so that tells you more than enough but that is it for today those are all my favorite everyday like nude lip combos and lip products that i use and abuse like no other that i'm obsessed with that i cannot live without so yeah this is actually a really really fun video thank you so much again to fiona for suggesting this to me i love your guys's ideas it it means the world to me when you guys are telling me what you want to see because it tells me that you care and that you watch my videos and it just means the absolute world. So thank you so, so much. Thank you, Fiona, for this really fun idea. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and let me know what your favorites were out of these and my terrible, terrible swatches. I'm so sorry again, but I had a lot of fun with this. So let me know what you thought. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.